There he is. You had to let me in. Ball head and me. I was Sauce Walker. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey. How you doing? All right, so uh, catch us up. On the, about? Look, look, catch up us, catch up, catch us up on if you're done with foreigns or if you're fucking with foreigns or not. We're gonna get right to it. I don't even want no further ado. Done. I'm I'm muting my mic. Give us the story, bro. What's the problem with foreigns? See, per you talking about personally, really? Huh? Personally speaking, yes. They're weird. Culturally, <laughs> culturally, they're weird. Like, and I said it because, like, seriously, though, I said it because, like, first of all, I'm from the project. So, like, culturally, there's a lot of differences depending on how they was raised. You see what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> if I if if we don't match up culturally, then nine times out of ten, it ain't gonna work out. Like, I didn't. I didn't been I didn't real deal been with foreigns where like no joke, I didn't been I didn't real deal been with foreigns that take showers with their son at 10. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's not be 10. And then if I say something, then it's like a um, you know, well, that's my son, you gonna accept that. And and if that's what you do, that's what you do, but I don't accept that. You see what I'm saying? And that's mm -hmm. just an example, like. Certain things, certain beliefs, like um, okay, like boom, like like my dad, I got an awesome dad, but my mama been with my my stepdad for they're not married, but they've been together thirty five years. <clears throat> I can't call. I don't. I I I look at him as a father figure, but I'm not gonna call him my dad because I have a dad. You see what I'm saying? And if I right. did, and if I did, <clears throat> my mama would go crazy. He would look at me weird. If I call them dad, you see what I'm saying? But in some in some situations, it's the other way around. You see what I'm saying? Like if like I didn't I didn't I know I know friends that are for that have foreign wives and, and uh or girlfriends <clears throat> and her kids call him dad and their dad is living. That ain't that ain't culturally that ain't culturally right for me. It don't feel right to me. Now if it's wrong to them. Oh, right to them, I can't judge that. But how can I be with somebody when I just believe when our beliefs are that far apart? Bro, I see Anto the comments. What pistol say? Hell well, I can, no! I ain't get pistol in here. Man, man Wait, what yeah. the fuck? He said, "Bro, that's just your experience." Oh, yeah, I, I, I can only speak from my experience. Weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't speak from his. But here's my thing. Here's my thing. A lot of the uh, people are wondering. Uh, ladies, as I was asking before, if you have parents that didn't approve of your personal relationship outside of the race. So if there's anyone on here uh, that had a parent that was like, oh, no, nah, we ain't doing that. Because, you know, just like in the comments, I seen Amanda say something that I actually heard. If she can't use your comb, don't bring her home. You know uh, what I'm saying? I heard that when I was young. My mom not, from, not from my parents. I'm just saying I heard it. Are you asking me? Yeah, I'm saying, did you hear that? No, nah, my mama rocking with me right or wrong, win, lose, or draw. You know yeah, yeah, saying? okay. It ain't got nothing to do with my mama. You know what I'm mm. saying? It's got everything to do with experiences. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro said, like, that's that's my experience. I can only speak from my experience, and it was weird. It, and it gets to the point where, like, especially at the age that I'm in now, because I've always dated foreigners. At one particular time, that was my actual preference. You see what I'm saying? Mm hmm but the older I get, the more that it strays away from me. I don't have nothing against it at all. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Look, you got bro, some, you know you got some commenters that want to know what are you considering foreign? Are you just saying anything outside your ethnicity? Foreigns. What? <laughs> what you ask <laughs> that, me? That, but I'm saying some people. Don't, I've never dated. I never dated a Caucasian woman. I've never. You ain't never, you ain't never hunched one either. I've hunched one. Yeah, it was good I, too, wasn't it? It was it was likable. <laughs> uh, she, she, she can get a little love on her. It was, was likable. She, 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 she can get a little love on her Instagram picture. Get some love. <laughs> I just I just never walked in that world. You know what I, I get mean? it. I get I'm it. Everybody ain't done it. it. I'm not opposed to it. You know hey, what man. But you I'm, know what you know, Devin the dude. Yeah. 
he he said it's all it, it don't matter if she black or she white it's all pink up inside that ain't what we talking about. <laughs> that ain't what we're talking about. That ain't what, like, shit, I never I never walked into that world, bro. You know All right, so saying? we're gonna talk about the world you you did walk in. We're I mean, only about the world I in. We're gonna talk about why culturally the difference bothers you so much. Because well, I, I thought because I thought that was a pro. I thought that was a pro and not a con that they open your mind up to a different perspective. It could be. It could be. It yeah, yeah. where you at. All right. So if we talking Koreans, Koreans, what about them? If we if you dating a Korean, if we talking Koreans, I'm talking about fresh out the boat from over there or the plane. I'm saying, what about it though? Like as far as like, could you do that? You said no more perform. They I'm, weird. That was your I'm, words, not mine. I'm saying, okay, look, boom. That's what I'm saying. Based off my experiences, I'm not even like. You're not gonna get the same energy from me that you're gonna get from my own kind off the wham based wow. off of my own experiences. You see what I'm saying? It's just like it's just like what they saying about the about the Caucasian males, right? Mm. Whether it be a pink Peter or whatever the situation may be. If they have if women have experienced that, then it's gonna be automatic if they run into a white dude, they already got that in their mind. He already gonna be in a hole that he gonna have to dig out of. He's gonna have to work. I guess him. I guess that is the same thing they're saying. They're saying I only give a certain energy to what I like. And I, I, I think that's anybody though. So with y'all preferences, I think preferences speaking bigger than I don't have a preference. You definitely do. No, I don't. Jeez, you just sat up here and said forms are weird, bro. I got a prep. I'm saying initially, I never had a prep. Love is love. We talking about what we are we talking about what we growing into, or are we talking about where we standing at now? What we I'm standing at what, 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 I'm saying what you would fuck with now, moving forward. I just told you. You I saying you sticking with your own I'm kind. I'm not dealing with no foreign. Not under the tent. They gonna have to. They gonna have to jump over three, four hurdles. To even have a conversation with me. Okay, so in saying Based that, from my experience, in saying that, that's a preference, Chief. Now, are we talking about then or were we walking in? in I'm talking about now. When I was in high school. Nah, I know you ain't. Nah, we wasn't. No nah. Now, mm. yes, my preference is my kind. Based off of that. Based off right, what right. I told you. Okay, cool. Man. Big brainer. Big brainer. Check this out. <laughs> we already know you don't want no Vienna sausage. <laughs> you don't want no. Brina said that. Man, I swear Brina to God, you missed you missed everything. Let me Big find Brina, out you got dressed up for this. But wait a minute though, <laughs> she wasn't the only one. All the ladies stuck with her tough when she made her her debut and said, "I'm not fucking with no Vienna sausage." All the ladies said, "Me neither." Um, <laughs> which I know is all cap because all of them have seen small penis before. Cap no Vienna sausage, don't cap me. and gown. I know they didn't have fun with a small penis before, so I know it was all cap. Y'all like that shit. Um, How many y'all like that shit? First of all, I know all four of them can deal with it. They'll do it if they love them enough. You can, you I know to, they would. Um, no, I know <laughs> Big Brain, I'm sorry, you got the floor. No, you got it, baby. Go ahead, say what you were saying. No, because y'all was just talking about small things, and I'm just saying, look, a dude can't help with that, okay? But if you could work with it, you could work with it. If you like them, you know what I'm saying? It's different, it's different I'm positions. Walking, ain't she, bro? Where it could work out. So it just depends on, you know, how much you invested in that or not. Baby girl, that's what we said. I said, mm -hmm. I think it's cap that all women say the small penis is terrible, but they will work with it. That's most definitely cap. As soon as you in love, Y'all forget the dick smile. Not for real till y'all get in the argument. I think it's when we piss y'all off that everybody dick becomes smile all of a sudden. But I don't look back on top of it. <laughs> hey, look, women to say anything to bring that. Oh, no. I, I, I never told I never told the dude his thing was small. I think a dude would know if his thing was small. So no, we don't know nothing if we've been punishing whatever Man. we came in. We we don't know nothing until we were that punishing whatever. Said, that motherfucker said, "Do it hurt?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> it hurt. They just ask you that. They just ask you that. <laughs> oh shit! The opinions of y'all relationships, and you're not allowed to give the generic answer of "I don't give a fuck what they think." 
we already quote unquote know you don't give a fuck when we know you do. But is there any real emotion that y'all went through of people judging the relationships that y'all been in? Because I think that's a deeper, deeper subject that people don't discuss enough is how it made you feel when you didn't get that approval from maybe the people you love. Might have been best friend. Best friend might have been in your ear like, man, leave him the fuck alone. He ain't up to par. This, that, and the third for whatever reason. But if your heart was aligned with dude at the time or woman, I don't know who y'all dealt with in your lifetime. How did it make y'all feel when that approval wasn't there? Or was that even important to you for real? Because if you're going to say I didn't give a fuck and didn't feel nothing, I'm calling Cap before you answer. Mr. Arnese, let's go. So you're saying based on race? Ethnicity? Yes. Or based in based general? on you dating somebody that they didn't approve of outside of your ethnicity. I feel like you mixed with like seven things, though. I don't know why I feel like that. No, that's, I mean, we're all mixed with a whole bunch of stuff, but it's, mm -hmm. it's one in mm -hmm. one as far as I know. I don't feel like sending my DNA out in the world, so I haven't done the mm -hmm. testing. But I haven't Trust really me, it's had already out there. I haven't had that experience because the kickback that I got back from family and friends was more so on the caliber of the person and not mm. race. Mm. So it was just who they were. Their, Have their, you had a better time people. with white people than black people dating? I've never dated a white person. Oh, would you? I couldn't. I'm not going to count anything out. If I connected, it's the possibility. <laughs> if there was a connection and there was just like more things going on, maybe like a brown haired, maybe brown haired and not, not blonde, maybe. What is the blonde? But I used to have like one of the, you said on ethnicity, right? And, what and about race and ginger? all that. What about a ginger white dude? Hmm. It's it's still pink. There's still pink involved, and I don't. So you need to be, you want your meat extra crispy. It doesn't have to be extra crispy. I mean, I do love chocolate, yes, but I don't like pink. So it has to have some color. So if it was like like Hispanic and it was like brown or, you know, like I could deal with that. But like straight pink, you. like. Mm -mm. That, hey, listen, everybody has a preference. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. Thank you, Mr. Arnese. Uh, Ms. Cable. All right, can you hear me? Talk to me about the emotions you had when they um, didn't they, when they disapproved of you liking that dark meat. Not strictly the meat, the person. Uh, uh, no, yeah, I'm trying to think because my parents growing up, I guess it had to be accepted. Like they didn't say that we couldn't date nobody until we were 18 and out of their house. When my sister broke, like uh my bro sister broke the ice, she had a black baby, and when she had to tell my parents she was pregnant, she didn't care. But they were like, why do you, they questioned it? And the emotion with it, they just came like, I, I hope they're accepted. But I left and went to New York and came back with the with being pregnant. And they accepted it. They let them in the house. Like there wasn't any really emotion there because it wasn't really a rejection to it. It was just more or less like, like the type of person that they are. It's like, why why can't you get, just be accepted because he's either gangster or not or Okay, but uh, I really didn't have any rejection like that, so I can't really speak. Okay, that's that's the... actually dope. I'm I'm glad to hear it. Actually, I want to hear all of y'all say y'all ain't had that type of rejection. That's dope. And so I, I don't go know. Ahead. I... Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, baby girl. What else you got? That's it. I just don't have no emotion to it because it really wasn't there. Like I was, I called, I was being called the devil by my baby daddy's mom before, and I'm just like she tried to throw a lasagna pan on me and everything, like. Because for being white? For, for being too soft, I guess. And it, I guess, because it, it never came out, oh, it's white, but it's the way I was. Like, um, I cried about a lot of things. I was pregnant for the first time, and, you know, he he was a gangster. He had, he was running the streets. Like, little, less, needless to say, he's in, he's in prison for for a couple more years. Like, so my does the street validate anything right now? Because I, I don't think prison is a place to be. I don't want to go to prison for nothing. Yeah. There's too many niggas in there for me. Yeah, I want to get my hair braided by a sweet woman with thick thighs and 
smell good. Cocoa yeah. butter or something on her skin. I, feel you. I don't want no That's dude what? braiding my hair smelling like me and feeling like my little brother knees on my back. Hell no. Fuck that. See, you can't trick me out the streets. Yeah, you I'm cannot trick me out the streets. The hustle mm -hmm. ain't that serious for me. So, I'm sorry, Miss K, but I, I just had to go off on a rant because some no, niggas enjoy going to prison and I'm not one of them or jail. But yeah, was, salute to all my guys that's locked up right now, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, I know it's some innocent men in prison and the niggas that sold weed and they still got y'all locked up. I'm against it. I'm against it. Because we out here smoking it legally in states and they still got y'all locked up for pushing pounds. I think yeah. that's bullshit. It's a money game. But we know how that go. The system, the system, the system. It ain't broken. It was built that way. So we're going to move to the next uh, person. Did I have uh, Miss Jen up first? Or Brina, I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Did I have you up? I think it was uh, Miss Jen. Miss Jen. Yes, sir. Ma'am, how did it make you feel if ever? You went through that rejection. I know you said you came up in an environment where it was mostly black guys. You know what I'm saying? It was it was normal to you because Pops was black. You know what I'm saying? And you was around our culture a lot. So did you ever experience, like you you did say you experienced the glares and the, the dirty looks. And some people had comments, you know what I'm saying, about it. How did that make you feel inside when you were away from the situation? I mean, honestly, I just laughed about it um, because, like I said, growing up, it was normal. But now, you know, that I got older, people make comments about it. I just I'm honestly brushed it off. Um, family wise, didn't have any problems. I say the only person that really had a problem with it is my son's uh, dad's side of the family um, is more so of the grandma, even though she's part white. I think it's because. Her dad is white, which was, um, you know, she was owned by, you know, she was a, her parents were a slave. So that's where that came from. So I think that's what it has to do with it. Other than that. You I were just, able to laugh it off literally like in I'm head. OK with it or it's were you stupid. angry? It's I, I don't deal with racism very well. So. I don't know. I just brush it off. I walk away, you know, because I would get in a fight about it because it's 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 stupid to me. You right. know, you can't really help who you fall in love with. I mean, you have a mixed son, correct? And I know that as a black kid growing up and him having a white mom, he's going to hear these topics and he's going to have to approach these topics. You're going to have to have these conversations with your young son, correct? I I I I, I pity that you even have to have those conversations but this is the world we live in right yeah which is why we on this pod as adults expressing our opinions and giving our differences so that i don't care how many people in the comments it the word spreads that hey it's a better way than what the fuck we've been doing yeah we've been minding everybody business but our own you know what i'm saying so what that kid is white so what i seen videos that they posted a lot right I'm going to say this real quick and I'm going to move on. I'm going to big brain up. Uh, I've seen, blesses Mr. Banks, welcome. Um, I've seen where um, kids are one, two, three years old. They don't give a fuck what color they quote unquote best friend is. They just hugging them, loving them and playing, right? So it's learned behavior to not like something about True. a color of skin that's why we're here tonight yeah. to point out that interracial relationships shouldn't even be a big fucking deal it should be preference now we're gonna move to big brainer cheese you're gonna get that point off you're gonna get that point off yeah i i know you're gonna get that point off big brainer come on it's itching to say something Manny. yeah come on big brainer you got the floor baby <laughs> what, what you got have no, you seen so, that? 
I never had an issue as far as race, but I will go back to, I'm not sure who said it first, um, but the caliber of man, I guess you would say. So like back in the day, you know, I, dope boys, and you know what I'm saying? Street dudes, they fun and everything. But now that I'm older, I can't bring a man home to my mother that is not up to caliber. And up to caliber to me is, you know, don't come to my mama house with no gold teeth and stuff like that. You know, like, and I'm sorry, but that's just Presentation. What it, Yes, it absolutely is definitely about presentation. Um, so I will say that my mother's approval does mean a lot to me. Otherwise, I'll never stop hearing it. But also, I wouldn't stop talking to somebody just because of my mother. But I don't even mess with dope boys and, and street dudes like that anyway. So now that I'm older, but it's just. I do, I, I'm going to keep it all the way a thousand. I do care about, you know, what my mother would say or, you know what I'm saying, how my family would, would, would what would they would say, but they wouldn't say nothing about color. It'd but, just be a more so presentation. Do you have a job? So you're saying it's a character flaw Yes, for them. It's the character more than the color for them. Absolutely. And what, it, but does it make you feel bad if you pick wrong to them? I'm saying that because I stopped letting my parents control who I pick a long time ago because obviously they have more wisdom than me but they don't know what I love and what I like they only know what they would like to see happen for me and that's a genuine thing absolutely. that's dope but absolutely. what's for me is for me absolutely but I wouldn't pick one of them anyways so uh, okay okay so I got your point we're gonna move on to cheese he is exploding <laughs> with energy, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm not. We got no, Kevin not. Davis in the motherfucking I'm, I'm, First of all, Colin Capo Sabrina. Yeah, okay. It's, we got Capo Sabrina. Who else? Before we on Just, Just me. Just Sabrina? Nobody else? Because she the one said... I'm, I'm Big Brina. Okay, I'm we muting my mic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cheese, hold on. Cheese, cheese, hold on. I'm muting my mic. Cheese and Miss Sabrina. Y'all work out this difference of the oh, cat. That's don't important do that, for bro. me. Don't That's that, important bro. for me. Let's see why it's being called cat. Miss Sabrina, defend yourself. Go, Chad. Because you, what you say last time? You said that, uh, what she say? A man got to have money. He got to be up to caliber. He now I was saying he ain't messing with dope boys. Didn't I just say that he has to be up to count? So you're just contradicting yourself because I, I, said, I, I, never said said a question. I never said a man had to have money. I said a man has to be stable. I don't want a broke man. Okay. That's 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 the first thing. I'm sure you don't want no broke bitch either. Well, maybe you do. You might want to take care of female. That's fine. That's talking about me. To each, to each his own. But hold I on. We can't. Hold on. I said time out. I, time out. Time out. Time out. This is what I need from both of y'all so that the viewers can enjoy it. This platform absolutely mutes both of y'all when y'all <laughs> wait. What's wait. happening? When y'all talk at the same time, it mutes both of y'all. So right. let the let the person finish and then you jump in. Let's go, Miss Sabrina. Okay, so I just wanted to make my point clear that on a previous episode, I did not say the man had to have money. I said he had to be stable, at least be where I'm at or above, which in my age, I'm about to be 34 years old. So why do I want, you know, somebody that is now there's there's different exceptions to it. No, put your hand down because I'm not done speaking. <laughs> there's different exceptions to it because like, you know, the last time we had spoke, like, you know, the uh, maybe he just failed that. Maybe he owned his own business. business failed. Okay, that's something different. But what I'm saying is I want a man that's on the same level as me or above. I don't mess with dope boys. I don't mess with dudes that are in the street. And that's just because I have kids. I have a career. I have, you know, a lot of things that I, I can't be around that. You know, I can't have my children around that. So, you know, and uh, like it is to each his own. I'm, I mean, I'm sure if you love a dope boy, yeah, they they fun as hell, you know, like they got money, whatever you want. That's cool. But I'm looking for more so stability and somebody that, you know, I connect with. And presentation is a big thing as well. If I if I want to bring you to one of my conventions with me to my job and I hold this, you know, I, I hold this type of woman to these people and then they look at who's beside me. What's the first thing? Oh, shit. Like, I, I didn't what even type? know. What do you mean this yeah. time? What Again, time? 
All right, Miss Sabrina, you had your, your 45 seconds. Go. Cheese, to that you say what? What do you mean this type of woman? What type of woman? What type of woman are you talking about? You said you had a four hundred thousand dollar house, and then so you need a so you need a man that got a four hundred thousand dollar house. No, that's what you said. That's not what I said, Jermaine. Did I ever say yeah, equal <laughs> or higher? And then you say you got a four hundred thousand dollar house. I know what you said, Jermaine. If the man, okay, if the man has a job, baby, you can move in with me. If you contribute. That's what you said. No, you took what I said out of context because it was about one specific situation. Okay, There's so here's the thing. Here's the All thing. Right. I hear what both of y'all are saying. Yes. Miss Sabrina is saying, I want a man with stability, point blank, period. To her liking. Jesus is saying, Cap, might not come like that. But why is he still not qualified? Is that a question you're asking, Cheese? Why is he still not qualified if he's not equal to what you got going on in life right now? I'm I understand why it's like that, but I won't speak for you, Cheese. You speak. No, I'm saying for lack of better words, Carl spoke for me. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Carl spoke for me. He already made that clear what he, what, you know, my sentiments to it for sure. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but at the same time, she moonwalking. You know what I mean? In what I, manner? I, I, we need to hear it. <laughs> she moonwalking based off of what, what you say, what he said, what I say. She'll moonwalk back up. And it's cool, you know what I'm saying? But say what you mean, mean what you say. You know what uh, I'm saying? Now, Lamont what you Duncan in the comments, Miss Sabrina, he say he moving in, Miss Sabrina. The lights and water is on him. And Miss Sabrina hell yeah, I'm moving now, in. The mortgage, the mortgage is on him, and I'll take care of the rest. Man. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, that's just a real man thing to it's me. It's your turn, Mr. Davis. Let's go. What do we have? What's the question? Please tell me. All what? right. So the question was, after all the women asked, I asked all the women this question. I asked them, is there a time where, I know what George was referring to. You was talking about Florence. You jumped right on here and said, Florence and weird, you ain't doing it no more. I am want to ask, how did, how did, yeah, your personal experience. I'm talking about only you. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel when you had to go through whatever you went through of saying, I ain't doing that shit no more? What changes did you go through? Talk to me about that process. <clears throat> it made me feel like it was impossible to connect. Let me get everybody back on stage. <clears throat> okay. It made me feel like it was impossible to connect. You know what I mean? Like I said, <clears throat> and like I said, I'm going to speak from my experience. If it's out of reach for me, then you know it just ain't for me and i you know i didn't deal with women period in general you know what i mean and that's mm -hmm. when i talk about that when you talk about my preference now because like rewind to what i was saying my preference in general was never <clears throat> was never foreign white black or none of that my preference in general is realness and energy and when i say realness i'm talking about like i'm a i'm not opposed to to nothing fake, like fake nails, fake hair, fake, you know what I mean? Fake eyebrows, fake eyelashes, windshield wipers, and shit like that. I'm not opposed to none of that shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, my preference is real. I want to see what you look like in the morning. You see what I'm saying? Miss Brenda said, Big Bree is not moonwalking. She mean what the fuck she said. You just not willing to understand what Big Brenda is talking about. Get calling here. Call, what's up? What we on? Out of control. Well, what we on? Banks, whose side you on right now? <laughs> side. Oh, right Man, now. listen, I'm going to be ain't honest no with you. Ain't no side. All right. It, 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 it ain't no side. Banks got the feeling. Ain't no Banks side. Miss Jen. All right, Ms. Jen. Miss Jen, I want you to comment <laughs> right after Mr. Banks' comment because you're too quiet. <laughs> and, and, and then... You too quiet for me. So, hey, Chief, we can't Banks. do this, big dog. We can't do this. Mr. Banks. What, I, let's what go, is sir. I, I thought we was looking for transparency. Yeah, that's what we doing. That's and what I we doing. All right, listen. I'm calling all cap and gown. Hello? I'm killing y'all softly Let, Let's do it. Calling all cap and gown. You ain't... I'm killing y'all softly over we here. We really going light. Yeah, I know I'm, I am. No, no. I, I'm really going light. Big Hello? All right, let, 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 me, let, let, let me just speak real quick, right? Let's go, Banks. Okay, so back on, I watched you and Miss Sabrina interact, cheese. I kind, I kind of love it, right? 
because it's a perfect picture of what goes on no matter what type of relationship you're in. Because every time a scenario is presented, the person talking wants to curve it to fit their new narrative. And that's Come not on, what a relationship is. Yeah, yeah, look, 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 I got, I got you, big dog. We up there. <laughs> so, so, but more importantly for me, when we were talking about the whole interracial thing, right? Because I've been moving around. Uh, Y'all got to realize we don't even live in a country that's socially welcoming uh, interracial. You got to check the climate of where you at. Hundred percent. And if y'all look at if y'all look at the country that we live in, nobody's accepting it openly. Because if I got to go, if I date this woman outside my culture and she's not welcomed by my family and I'm not welcomed by hers, we're not building a fucking family. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing. Then the other thing is when we had these people saying, well, I dated this white boy or I dated this white girl. I'm not seeing too many people really actually go and get. If I ever date a white girl, I'm going to get a white girl that ride horses, that do the white well, shit. White I, 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 <laughs> see, you can't, you can't, you can't bring me no white girl that put these braids in her hair, talking like, yeah, but you can't do that shit, bro. I'm, I'm solid with mine, dog. But if I want that, I'm, I'm gonna stay with what I know. A hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? So if we're gonna do it, we're gonna be all the way genuine about what's going on. A lot really? of us are lying to our to each other. Yeah, you want to go date the white boy that hang out with the with the brothers, and you think you got you a white boy. You ain't got you no white boy. This no nigga do everything boy. the niggas do. That's true. And That's if you go fact. get and, and then what we look at when you see a black woman uh, with a white man, we look at that kind of differently. But most of the time, when you see a, a, a black woman with a white man, she's probably been turned off by everything the hood had to show her. So she gonna walk in with a straight up Dexter. <laughs> that's 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 the difference. So if we're gonna be honest about it, then look at look at the country we live in. What and about if you just look at huh? What about Mexicans? Well, anything melanated suffers the same <laughs> thing that I suffer. See, that's what it's about. It ain't about what you what, what your glory in, because when the relationship is good, everybody's happy. It's when you gotta go suffer. So what do the white girl do when she's sitting in the passenger seat with this nigga that's about to get killed by the police? She already spared. So you got to look at what the suffering is. Everybody yeah. wants to highlight. Everybody wants to highlight the high points of what they think it is, and all of that shit is fashion. Nigga, we niggas. We run the fashion capital. Our music runs shit. We do all of that. So we can't even look at that. Look, look at the truth of what you're actually picking. Don't tell me you want to pick no white boy that hung out with me and cheese all his life. But see, that's why I said no, Carl. I'm from the projects. It's gonna be a different. It's gonna be different from a, a black person that's from Sango. It's gonna be different. Right. Culturally. You see what I'm saying? Up Culturally. Struggling, graveyards, fed charges. It's gonna be different. It'll be yeah. different. Somebody that ain't never seen that. You I know? Call, okay, Carl. Okay. 